Hi everyone, welcome back. So we uh, just won another game as allies, which puts up to 19th place in gold. So we're, we're getting close to um, getting close to platinum. So I think probably what I'll do from here on out is I'll record all my games just in case that's the one that tips the <laughs> tips it over the edge <laughs> and uh, yeah puts me into platinum. So we're, yeah we'll record um, from here on out. I think. So we just matched up a game against uh, ASCII. Uh, I've not moved yet, so we'll uh, yeah we'll get straight in. All right, so we're going to go for our normal uh, four and three, and pretty standard attacks as always. So fingers crossed for a good start. Come on. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Well, that's a good West Russia. Definitely happy with that. Don't often wipe the Germans in the first round in West Russia. That's quite cool. Good hits. So, we do need a second. Well, we need a good Ukraine as well, though. Uh, saved by the uh, tanks and fighters there. <laughs> Not a good start. Okay, pretty good round there. <clears throat> now, depending on what falls first... Okay, three hits, so... Okay, I might, depending on what happens there, I might retreat again. Oh, no. Ooh, that's a retreat. That's a retreat if I ever saw one. Oof. We're in a very similar situation. This, this happened with, uh, what's, oh, it's, it's not, okay, I'm recording another game and it's not finished yet, but we're in a commanding, well, we're in a, we're in a really strong position in that game. And this, this same thing happened. We got down to the last fighter and we had three tanks left. So it's, it's just, yeah, I'm retreating. Losing those three tanks and actually an artillery piece as well is not worth killing that fighter and taking Ukraine. It's just not worth it because it just yeah having them back now we've just gained four four units which are expensive as well. This is worth what twenty two u twenty two RPC versus twelve essentially. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to pull out of that one. Perfect. Yes, yeah, so overall there. I cannot complain. Very happy with that. So strong, strong West Russia. Also a very nice Ukraine. He's going to have six fighters now. But, I mean, that's the trade-off. I mean, it, it just means we are going to be stronger um, with Russia, though. So I'm more than happy to give give him that one, uh, one extra fighter. And I think that's it for our non-coms. doesn't really matter about the anti-air guns, I, th I don't think, because... Neither way. I guess what I'd say what what we could do. Let's just split them evenly up, just in case he goes for some kind of wacky attack on either one of these. We covered on both uh, both fronts from some aircraft. Okay. Because there is slight potential here. I'm not worked at the odds, but he could go for West Russia, but I don't think he should. <laughs> Be a bad attack if he does. So two two oh, two one rather than. Three. Cool. So yeah, very happy at that start though. Very happy. We've not taken Ukraine, but we have far more units than we really should have, which is good. So yeah. Holding basically stacking west is gonna make it, you know, it's gonna be all that more easy now. We've got the extra extra tanks and things. It also means as well we can probably I think we could probably keep Germany out of Corellia for round one as well. We've got four, yeah, we've got like pretty much yeah, 11 units plus four tanks, two fighters. That should be enough, I think. I'm not sure of the odds, but yeah, that should be enough, hopefully. It also means as well, if if Japan goes for India, then obviously we, we have four units that can blitz down immediately. So it, it having these extra tanks really does help out. The Allies overall um, gives us a lot more flexibility with our defences, so... Yeah, cool. Okay, I'll hand it back to, um, what's his name, ASCII, and I'll uh, jump back on for UK. Okay, we're back for UK 1 against ASCII. Let's have a quick look at um, Germany's turn, see what went up. Interesting buy, wow. Bomber, sub, 5 infantry, 2 artilleries. Ooh, actually. <laughs> I was just looking at the ball before I started recording, I thought I could drop a fleet, but actually with the sub involved, that's probably not a good idea. Huh. We may have to wait around on that, to be honest. 
I don't think that's going to be too wise because it's going to be six attackers. Um, sorry, seven. One, five, six, seven. Against the season seven fleet, I'm going to have one, two carrier, three destroyer. Yeah, four, five planes. So not great. So maybe just de we'll delay the fleet. I think for one round, we'll buy some fighters instead. Um, we'll buy some, yeah, a couple of artillery and stuff for uh, India. While we uh, prep, we can land straight into West Russia, which is nice though, because obviously we're gonna have take we're gonna take Karelia. He's not gone, he's not gone heavy into Karelia, which is nice. So we can take all three of these with Russia. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, this needs to die though. Okay, anyway, yeah. So three land units, two planes. That's good to me. Let's do it. We'll leave the sub for uh, the the Americans. They can probably still sit in ten. That's safe, right? Yeah, that's safe. Okay. Kill this. Obviously, have to go for the the fleet. A little bit, yeah. A few more troops here than normally. <clears throat> You'd like to see at least. Uh, well, that's nice. Don't worry. One less German here normally, but still, that's fine. Alright, attacking moves probably pretty good. Now I'd normally throw in some more units here, but I've yeah, recently I've started to not like that as much because I'm just I always conscious about India now. Leaving it, you know, under protected so soon. It's a little bit more risky. I guess he's indicating obviously he's gonna go heavy this side as well. He's got a bomber for support as well as the fighter now, which is not great. Yeah, I don't, I don't like heavy pressure against Africa <laughs> as the Allies. Obviously, it's uh, not quite as nice to deal with. Although we can, if we need to, we can bring down some US troops straight away to help deal with this. So if, if it looks dicey with this attack in Transjordan, we can maybe just reinforce straight away while killing this, obviously. But we'll see. Uh, one, two, three, four. So we actually probably better bring the cruiser down here, I guess. Yeah, given the bomber can reach 23, it might be better if I prep that now and move this cruiser down to 23 just to give my transport some options if they want to go south or sit in 10. The problem with that is though, if it's only yeah, it's a, a 4 attacking against a 3 with a, he may well go for it. I'd go for it if it's two transports, you know, defended by one cruiser, but we may get lucky with the rolls, I don't know. Anyway, that's, that's for the non-com. Combat moves, I think we're good. Alright, see what our luck's like. <clears throat> Fleet needs to die, obviously. Otherwise, Africa is in big trouble. Oh, beautiful. No return fire. Oh, that's what we like. Nice and clean. Shanghai. Okay. Looking scary now. Very scary now. <sighs> I hate with the delay as well, like the while it's loading. Like, <laughs> gets you all panicky. God, okay. Well, it died, which is the main thing. Uh, Transjordan. Let's get a clean sweep. Oh my god. That's not good. I've got to go call out and kill it though. Okay. This has not gone well at all. Okay, we've taken it, but at a cost of yeah, more than I would have liked. Okay, let's assess then. So, hmm, what if we put both in Persia? Let's do that. I am, I am thinking about moving some like that. I am thinking about moving some infantry out of India. Just don't like to do it though. So I get one shot at this because the Japanese can they can kill me if they want to. So there is there is only one shot here. What I could no, that's stupid. That's stupid. I was just thinking about moving the destroyer down to defend twenty three against the bomber, but that also leaves it up for the still two attackers. So. The sub needs to die. Um, hmm. Two versus four already. 
Ah, oh, taking three, so taking two out is so risky though. I'll tell you what, no, I, I don't mind it actually. This, 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 this round's fine. I'm gonna pull them out. The reason is we've got more, we've got four Russian tanks free this game, as opposed to one. So, we've got more than enough to replenish those two infantry should we need them. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's put some more in there. This is one circumstance where I feel that's totally fine. Cool. Yeah, that's good actually. Didn't think about that. Russian tanks are there to cover, should we need them? Alright. Um, I'm still not convinced about this move. So there is currently five ground units versus my five. Okay, so it's just a case of trying to get to somewhere useful quickly. We can reinforce. I don't want to move this here then, actually. I'm going to move it over here. Um, put it there for now. Yeah, that's good. And we can reinforce with fighters should we need to, so yeah, that's all good. It's all good. Alright, anything else we've missed? I just want to show you as well, another thing I've noticed recently in uh, ranked games is people stacking Burma on round one. It happened in another game I've just started uh, against, actually, it was, it was a casual game, actually, it's not ranked. But it's, um, yeah. Guy went up went for a stack in Burma, which is I need to explore that move actually because I, I kind of like it in a way. Assuming you kill the sixty one transport, there's no way they can get to India with ground troops. So I guess you're just defending territory a bit more heavily than you need to just to ensure it holds. But anyway, that's a different game and a <laughs> different idea. So I think we're good here. Two fighters and the rest into India. Cool. How are we looking on the attack balance? Good. As long as we're ahead, that's that sounds good. Obviously, we're just taking the UK's turn, but still, we'll give a proper, yeah, a real reflection once we finish U US's turn. Okay, not too bad though. Not too bad. I don't like having a German bomber to deal with though. I'll be honest. I, I do. Yeah, that, that is more of a hassle. Um, and I guess the problem as well now is we've got, we have got six, yeah, seven planes to deal with. So we're gonna have to have a substantial uh, allied fleet in the Atlantic to deal with that. Plus if he's going to build some subs as well, it could get pretty nasty to defend. So I do need to try and yeah, mass our fleet. But there we go. I'll see you back for US 1. Alright, we're back for the US turn 1 against ASCII. So, Japanese, two transports, one destroyer. Interesting. One infantry, one artillery, combat move. 33, you went for the Transport, fair enough. Destroyed cruiser. Yunnan, lost one. Sichuan, oh, he went for Sichuan, interesting. Ooh, painful though, painful. <laughs> he, he lost the fighters, that's great for us, great. Um, attacked Burma, but couldn't take it, which is also good. Um, and, wow. We swapped subs in 41, which is more than fine for me. That's okay. Uh, Anmei was captured, no problem. Bariatia. Also, well, we got we got infantry for it though. It's good. So, all right, the backup to well, they're actually only, only on three transports still. The destroyer was an interesting choice. I'm not sure that's probably the best, the optimal build for Japan, but um, it does mean that we've got this uh, Pearl Harbor's safe. So I'm probably going to do my old 45 move to get some fighters to uh, India quicker than normal if it's free. I think it's probably a better move also because obviously we've, we've taken two infantry out of India as well so we're going to need all the reinforcements we can get early on just to hold. Uh, yeah so let's do the... I'm just thinking what to do with the purchases. Obviously the normal stuff but just ship wise. We could do... we have three destroyers but they're not going to be in range for a while. What can you hit 45 with? This is the question. So I'm just thinking about what I can bring back through um back through 19. It's just gonna be planes obviously, but what can you reach with one, two, three? You can reach with one, two, three, four, five, one by one fight one bomber. One, two, three. It's just literally one fighter and one bomber, I believe. So if I just leave the destroyer with the carrier as well, then these 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 three are 
they're, they're free to come back through. Yeah, I'm just concerned about the number of units here, but I think... Let's go for a destroyer. Let's go for a destroyer. Um, so we'll have oops, two there. So we're going to build two transports. We can fill up one, obviously. Bring through for two. So we can actually go for a yeah, artillery, save two IPC. Why not? Uh, there's also an option here to go for the Yunnan, sorry, the Yunnan move. The TTG move of dropping the anti air gun. One, two, three. Yeah, I'll do that as well. Cool. It's a combat move, there's nothing we can do. Oh, there, there is actually. Uh, this one here. Make sure that sub dies. And then we'll land the rest of the, the transports in 10. But that is it, I think. Yeah. Right. Let's kill this pesky sub. Cool. No return fire. Alright, so 45 with everything here. Uh, we'll move this. Ah, uh, we can't move this up to 64 because he's blocked it. So we'll, we'll go 52, I guess. 52 is good. Destroy it down to 45. Grab an anti air gun, drop it in. Go, go, go. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Take that there. UK. Might leave that stacked as it is, to be fair. Got three units just to kind of deter an attack up there. That's, that's quite nice. Um, this, we'll go for, go for west for now, we don't really need it anywhere, just for this round, but we'll keep it in west. Okay, looks good. Six and two looks good. I'm assuming this sub's gonna submerge, but just in case, because there's nothing much I can do with this sub anyway. We could bring it down. Obviously, if it survives, we'll bring it down south. But <clears throat> it's worth it trying to kill this sub just in case he has missed out on his defense profile. Uh, right, attacks then. That's interesting. Two infantry. Oh no, he's got yeah, he's got two planes. It's like there's only one plane to reinforce uh, against your cook, but he's got two planes. So that's not really practical. Although two infantry and two plane attack on your cut is not great. It may be worth trying to hold that for a second. Force him to bring more up. But if he breaks through, that's gonna be painful losing four infantry. I'm gonna try and hold that actually. I'm gonna try and hold it. I'm gonna move one back. I don't normally do that. I normally just pull pull straight back. But we've got the unit spare in Russia to hold this, so we can afford to leave some guys behind and try and make some issues for the Japanese a little bit. Just gotta to remember to not that he can land there, but actually, can he attack this with anything? I'll, I'll move the troops anyway, just because they gives me something to do. <laughs> All right. So, one, that needs to fall, so artillery. Uh, I think actually, to be fair, everything needs to fall here, so I'll go for the full works. And priority is Ukraine and Karelia, though. So we can hold this without that. Uh, transports are in range. Gotta be cautious about India, actually, because there are some <clears throat> there is some potential for an attack here. Although they've got minimal troops to do it with, they could still go for it. They've got a lot of aircraft that are in range. Gotta be. I'll have to calculate that on the UK's turn. All right, attack, attack, attack. Yeah, that's good. Let's 
try it. I do hope this sub doesn't submerge, but I assume it will. Yeah. Would have been sweet. Take away an attacker on the fleet. Okay, Corellio. Oh, God. Thank you. Ukraine. Nice. Important, we won that one. Okay, hopefully we get a clean sweep with no losses, that'd be nice. Give the, uh, the Germans something to think about. Okay. Ah, oh, shame. <laughs> oh well. We won the fight, that's the main thing. Right, so let's pull this guy up here. Push everything else in. We could probably... It doesn't really matter where we put things for now, because obviously we've got some spare space. Could potentially put, yeah, let's put, put two infantry on the front lines here, just to kind of give us an option of retaking. Sinkyang and Sichuan if we want to. This is a move I'm not entirely convinced by. But I think... I've calculated, right? One, two, three, four, yeah. It is only two planes that can reach, so... Alright, let's try that. <clears throat> be nice to have a secure bit of extra income up here, up here from the Japanese. Alright, we're good. Twenty nine IPC for spend, very nice. Okay, good lead as well. So what's nice here actually is the can the German Germans take Corelli this round hard? They're gonna have only they only have five infantry, which one of which they may well lose in the attack. So at best five infantry, nine tanks against. Enough, I would say, maybe. Yeah. Three artillery, eight infantry, four tanks, two fighters. That should be enough to deter that. So maybe it's a whole career for another round, actually, as well. Pretty cool. We've lost one attack, obviously, pulling back this way, but I think that's worth it. Yeah. So I guess the only concern at the moment is just making sure India is secure, because we are low on numbers, lower on numbers than we would have been normally. But this is going to help out a lot, get some fighters in, in the game really quickly. And, uh, yeah. Try and deal with these German troops in Africa as well. Cool, okay. That's the US and Russia turn, so on to uh, Germany 2. Okay, we're back for round 2, UK against ASCII. Um, Germany, so <laughs> he's, he's carrying on with the sub purchases, so he's trying to deter the... Uh, the fleet. I think I'm not going to drop, again, I'm thinking about not dropping a UK fleet and just going for reinforcements because he's mounting a pretty heavy, yeah, he's got some heavy pressure against West Russia, so more fighters just flooding in and probably the way forward here, especially because we have to use these two for an attack on Egypt this round. So I'm thinking just more, more fighters for now. Combat, Egypt, yeah, as we knew, Ukraine, no, he has lost, lost one infantry, okay, not the best trades for us, but it will do. Right, so, the old, um, maybe just save a little bit of money, I don't want to go too heavy on infantry, sorry, artillery in India, we don't need them necessarily. Uh, huh. Got to be careful here, there's a danger we let, yeah, let Japan take India for round three. So round two, sorry. Let me just check the odds of holding with what we've got with, with the deployment as well, because there's a lot of planes that could try and snag it. I'll just double check and come back. I'm, trigger, uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to not 
have too many fights. So I can deploy directly. I can deploy fighters directly to India and just secure it. But I'm trying not to do that completely. So I've gone for a bit of a compromise build. It's not great, but we're gonna have to put one fight directly to India with infantry tank, and have one deploying in UK. I think that's the way to go around. So it gives us better odds, not guaranteed odds by any means, but <laughs> but better odds here. Um, still, I think UK fighters is gonna be the way initially here with this sub sub kind of build. Um, I, I need to attack this as well. I need to attack this with now with what I've got. So I'm gonna, even if it's just one round of combat, one two. Yeah, they can't reach. And just so I can secure, sit down. Okay, let's do that. Let's just go for it. So I'm just hoping they don't land more than two hits. It's risky doing this, very risky, but I'm just betting that they're not going to hit more than two. So I can try and just do one round of combat, kill enough that I can just ensure Sidan survives. Uh, can't do much here. Let's go about all these attacks I can do, to be fair. This is risky. This is very risky. Because there's a yeah, reasonable chance they get some good hits there. Okay, let's do it. And just fingers crossed we don't get slaughtered. Oof, come on. That's terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> Oof, that was a, a relief. Jesus. Okay, try again. Okay, two hits is better. God, God, don't give me a choice. Don't give me a choice. This is such a mistake to push on. <sighs> Alright, this is a mistake. I realise that, but I'm pushing on. Screw it. They're dead. Okay, cool. Wow. We got lucky. We shouldn't have got lucky. That was... <laughs> that battle was terrible. Okay, cool. Well, Africa's safe now, at least. That's that's a bonus. <sighs> we got bloody lucky there. Bloody lucky. Um... I'm not pushing out with the Americans yet because we need to make sure we're safe from there's a lot of subs about so we need all this fleet coming forward really so it's gonna be a while before we attack I think. Uh two here. Um again I've not done the odds for West Russia either. I'd imagine we could hold. Yeah, I'm gonna assume we can hold and just again play it stupidly, but <laughs> why not? Defend here. Yep. I'm going to have to give them Burma for free this round, unfortunately, because we can't afford any more infantry moving out of India for this one. And we'll just try and trade it trade it back next time. Yep, that's it, I think. Alright, one, two, three, four. Cool. Okay, how are we looking? 169 versus 162. Not bad. Again, sitting in West Russia is the important thing. We do have a lot of fighters on the map now as UK, which is always reassuring. But, yeah. So once we get these UK US fighters in India, then obviously we'll be a lot freer to move around a little bit. Definitely can't have that again, I don't think. It's, yeah, fighters directly into India is really not a good thing, especially when we're low on units anyway. We need to have ground troops there first. So hopefully that's the only time we have to do that. The rest of the time it should be safe. Anyway, there we go. That's UK2. I'll let Asuki move his Japan and I'll jump back on for US. Okay, back for uh, US2 against Asuki. Um, yeah, we can't exactly move out yet, unfortunately, with the uh, Americans. We can't go north because we're going to get wiped by the, the two subs that are there, plus the bomber. Uh, can't really go south as well because we don't quite have enough defenders yet to defend against again six six planes. That's a bit nasty. He may he may go for that attack as well. So I think we just wait for now and just consolidate the fleet first. So we'll go for three transports enough to fill them up. So we're just yeah getting the numbers. We can even go for no, let's save let's save. I'm gonna bank some my PC. Okay. Uh, attack moves now. He's left his carrier open in 48, and I'm gonna probably go for that because that's quite a nice. Um, be quite a nice prize for a, a six IPC unit taking down a 14. Uh, we can move these three guys in. As for attacks, I don't think we can do a whole lot. We can maybe bomb bomb Germany. Yeah, it's bomb Germany. Why not? Okay, can't go for Morocco yet. So that should probably conclude our combat rounds. Yep. 
let's see how we do. Go through the wall. Nice. Had a bad run, re a bad run recently, actually, with uh, bombing. I've lost quite a few planes in a row. So, hoping to get a bit of a, a win streak on with the bombing. Right, this would be a nice prize. Come on. 48. Let's take out a carrier for free. Oh, nice. Awesome. That's cool. Um, yeah, he does have the. He's got destroyers nearby to take it out. That's fine. Yeah, so that was more than worth it. Right. Fighters in position. Let's pull the transport back. Can he reach me here? Nope. Not quite. Carrier destroyer, fleeing down forty-one. They'll go south of Africa. Um, south South America. Destroyer. We might as well just mobilise in ten. Why not? Uh, yeah, what do we? I think maybe sitting. What can we hold west this round? I need to calculate. Let's just double check. Actually, I stopped halfway, really realizing that these these five planes aren't in range of West Russia, so <laughs> we don't need to calculate at all. So let's sit there. Uh, you're okay. You're okay. Let's move you up as well. Why not? In fact, do we just put? Yeah, I may move that anti-aircraft gun just back to um, to Alaska, just again to make this more yeah more of a hassle to deal with. He wants to go with one of those uh, sneaky attacks. Right. I think we're good. Can this plane do anything better than this? Yeah, I like that spot actually. Yeah, that's good. It gives us the option to go to India should we need to. Always useful. Cool. Okay. That's good. Let's do a quick summary for uh, the end of round two. Right, so we're fairly even at that part, away, which is good. So 171 versus 174. Cool. Um, this sub build has really slowed down our sort of movement with the US, but uh, once we get the battleship involved, we should have no problem just uh, yeah, taking out the. Not quite in range yet, but we can. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3 attackers versus 1, 2, 3, 4. And probably a fighter as well. So we should be able to take away Norway and Finland in round three, I would hope. Depending on where he puts his fighters, obviously. Um, but hopefully we can grab these as soon as possible. Obviously we need to make sure we deal with um, the last of the African German-held provinces as well. Because they need to fall quickly. Start cutting out uh, Germany's economy. Four and four, I guess. Or seven and two. That sounds tempting. Let's do seven and two, given obviously our surplus of attacking units. Nine units sounds quite good. Uh, we could even try and hold a Venki this round. Hmm. But what did he actually? Did we try and hold before? So look at that combat. Oh no way! Oh, that's that's what we tried to defend. So we had oh, that's just four infantry. Crap. So we had four infantry, and he didn't lose a single thing. That's brutal. That's such bad odds. Such bad luck, sorry for us. So I guess we don't put <laughs> two infantry in a big game. <laughs> it should be a waste. I'm going to put one there just to kind of make him work for it a little bit, but that's, yeah, that's, that's rough. We deserved at least one infantry there. At least one. That's brutal. Wow. Um, now, I want to try and take Ukraine if we can. That's three... Five versus three should be good. Can we disengage this sub? Yep.
Hmm. I guess we don't. I'm just thinking about if I need to. If we don't win the battle, it's not actually too much of a problem because we don't. We don't have any other allied units in the Caucasus, so they're not going to get lost. So we could potentially throw it away if we need to. But that's risky. Let's go for that. We'll go for a light attack. That's fine. Let's try and sneak it. I think we drew a bit of luck after that. Your cook battle. Okay, we killed them all. Okay, pretty good. I'll take that. The question remains here where do we put our uh, tanks? Obviously, I want them available for India should uh, India need them. However, yeah, they're not really ready to attack just yet. Mm. We have eight units going in, so we're going to have eleven. Yeah, sixteen land units plus a tank. Seventeen. But we have the fighters in there as well. We have, yeah, wow, well, seven fighters. I am just going to double check the odds to make sure we can comfortably hold without any of these tanks involved. I might, I'd like to maybe put four down here in Cox's, but let's calculate that first. Yeah, so we can't actually come to be hold without any tanks here at all. So let's leave four tanks in Caucasus just to, you know, cover uh, cover India should we need to. That's good. Okay, with that then, let's, I think we're finished. So let's go... Maybe... No, actually we don't need to do that. Cool. Alright, back to ASCII. UK3 against ASCII. Uh, now I feel safe enough, I think we've got the fleet in position now, so even with the two subs and fighters and bombers, I think we should be safe to uh, to drop a UK fleet this round. We'll have to combine in eight for now, and then we'll, we'll go from there, I guess. Um, yeah, let's do that, let's do that. So I've got three Yudlan units going to uh, India. Um, Transport carrier. I do need to probably check the odds on India, although I think it's safe. We've got um, we've matched their planes, or we've actually outmatched them. We've got more than they have, um, and we have yeah, we should be fine. Uh, right, let's do it. So I'm going to try and chase down this infantry just for ease. I'd rather not have to deal with it. That's a mistake, I think, because I should preserve the tank. But whatever, <laughs> we're just going to do it. Um, oh, what do I do? For, go for that. No, if I've got more fighters here, I'd go for the trade in Burma, but I've only got one, so it's not ideal. I don't want to throw away any for nothing. Let's leave that. A bomber here would be so nice. I'll have to move this bomber down, actually. Right, that's a tap move. That's probably all we can do, to be fair. Implausible. We have above 50% odds. Risky, though. Nice. Hey. Bonus. Makes things easier. Okay, two in there. On the fleet, on the fleet. Uh, out, that's actually, they're out of range of 10, which is nice, so I can move up here comfortably. They're fine. Uh, now, I need to probably do the odds on holding West Russia here now before we move. Uh, oh, actually, these are still out of position. If I was asking, I would have moved these back within range of West Russia because this is not a threat right, right now. Yeah, he's, he's, he's way down. He needs fighters. Yeah, they'd be better off switching them out for infantry here just so they've got more flexibility. But 
having them in France is not great. So actually, I think we're looking fairly strong. Let's just double check the odds anyway, just to make sure. Yeah, West Russia is rock solid still. And until he moves those fighters out, I don't think we're going to have a yeah, problem defending it. Alright. Moncon looks good. Um, yeah, they're fine there as well. Okay. Back over to ASCII. 182 versus 182. <laughs> Nice and even so far. I didn't check the odds in uh, India, but I think they're, they're they're more than secure as it stands now, anyway. All right, see you back for US's turn. Okay, we're back for round three US against ASCII. Pressure's mounting. Uh, on both sides here, but I think we're okay for this round. Um, just the build is the question now. So I'm going to be stacking season 8 with everything I can. Uh, do we attack? I don't think so. No. I think just. Well, where do we actually go with these guys? Yeah, these two subs are really messed up our logistics because I kind of want to drop off and then go back for more, but there's nowhere we can't hit France because it's too too heavily defended, northwestern maybe, but it becomes a slaughter if I leave my troops there. Cannot go n north because we need to defend eight. I uh, can't reach the subs to kill them. Yeah, maybe we just go. We take Northwestern with one transport and then drop off troops into UK for now. And we'll replenish. Yeah, we'll just put some more transports. So we've got seven currently. We go for one, two, three. Could just do that. Then we can drop off pretty heavily where we want to go. So we'll have three that will be can hit north or south. And then obviously, probably. Minus these ones that get killed, three transports again that can move either way. So we can hit heavy somewhere. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, maybe actually thinking about it, let's cancel one of those transports actually. One. I think it'd be nice to have a few fighters flooding through as well. Well, not flooding, but <laughs> slowly trickling through into Europe. Be better. Okay, combat. Yeah, I kind of want to put the bomber in uh, India. Actually, to be fair, it's more use down there. It's not going to be much use apart from just hitting C zones. Although we could hit it. No, no, don't need the. Got enough uh, fleet to deal with that. Hmm. It's just the one. That's. Can't hit there, no we can't. Okay. So, let's move all the boys in. Cancel, 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 cancel. Oh, <laughs> can't it have some intelligence where I want to go? Here first, then there, thank you. Yeah, we can um, we can hold India, provided we bring these tanks down. So it's a good job we left them there. I'm also going to bring one in, uh, one fighter from Western. We can hold this as long as we reinforce with one more infantry from somewhere. Uh, we can hold that. Okay, bring the rest of the guys in. So I think we're all set here. These can't reach. There's no two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine. 
with you back. Yeah, well, we are going to put you in Alaska. Okay, what's that? So we'll be getting to a habit of, we've got a lot of transports already on the board. Um, we have three, six, yeah, we've got ten transports. So maybe, yeah, we, we now try and focus a bit more on the fighters. Try and get a fighter around, maybe, to help out. Russia. No, we are getting a bit short of, yeah, let's do four and three. We're getting a bit short of artillery here. Right. Um... Ukraine needs to fall every time because we can't risk. Yeah, we can't risk uh, the Caucasus being attacked. So maybe one, two here. Do that. Then maybe one. Okay. Yeah, we calculate. We need, I need to move one infantry at least into West Russia to be able to hold it. So, I think probably block something with one of these guys. Maybe not, actually. We'll just move to it. I would like this to fall because it's going to be awkward if it doesn't. And cute. Good. Yeah, after that game with uh, Overlord, I'm more cautious about leaving Russia undefended. <laughs> or at least leaving it open to uh, potential attacks. Can't afford to lose Moscow. Okay, this is annoying. Novo. Oh, the planes often let you down on the attack. There we go. Nice. Okay, I mean, they're going to take things anyway. They can't blitz through into Moscow, so maybe just, yeah, we'll just put two in. Make it even safer. Head down there. You can head down as... Uh, maybe actually leave them here for now, this sub. It's an extra body in the fight against the subs, so... There is a lot of firepower here as well, so I think we probably need to... Yeah, we'll leave it there. Let's check the defense profile, make sure it attacks. Yep, yeah, that's good. Oh, and the rest... I want all the subs attacking. Oh, we actually do we have subs here? Doesn't matter. We'll leave them on all fight because we've got the subs in the Pacific. Okay. <clears throat> uh, one, two, one. So how are we looking? One nine two versus one eight four. Definitely not uh, yeah, destroying the competition right now. So I think the key thing here now is obviously we're going to get some space. Once we can clear these subs out of the way, we can get some space and go north and just try and finally take away Norway and Finland from the Germans. Uh, at which point we can get yeah we can get a lot of troops in straight away up north to try and pressure Karelia as well. So I just need to get some yeah assistance for the Russians because they are running a, it's tight now and obviously they're bringing in lots of infantry. This this will probably kill it off. Actually, if it brings in the fighters and this infantry to uh, to battle Russia, we can't hold this anymore. So we'll have to pull back. So yeah, I need some uh, assistance very quickly here. But yeah, I think these I think these planes should have moved in a lot quicker because he could have probably broken my broken my front here with those planes. But with with them out of position, he can't do that. So there we go. All right, so back to uh, ASCII for Germany. Okay, we're back for UK four against uh, ASCII. Uh, I've had to do some calculations on this one just to make sure we can comfortably hold everything. Um, and three infantry is fine for India. Um, and we can hold West Russia um, either by taking Ukraine or not. It doesn't really matter, but I, I will try and take it. Um, I can throw in this extra fighter over here, which is nice. So that's, that's good. Now, transports, we're only down. Yeah, we've only got two, so I'd like to get a third just initially. And then from here. We already have two 
So these are covered for next. Well, one of them is covered for next round, so that covers two. That covers two, and then that covers three. Cool. We can save some income. In fact, what I might do actually cancel one of these, put a tank in there, just to kind of shore this up as well. Yeah, that's good. That's good. A bit more even distribution, a bit stronger as well. Okay, that's good. So our job really is going to be to not necessarily with the British, but with the Americans, to clean up these subs. He's tried to spread out to try and make things awkward for us. Oh, also, sorry, I forgot to mention, um, attack, uh, good purchase. He went for West Russia, though. Uh, now, my defense profile was not correct because I lost two anti-air guns. Um, they fell first, that was a mistake on my part, so that, that's kind of annoying because we, we could really do with at least one anti-air gun, just to kind of obviously deter a, a plane attack, but held nicely low, we lost 6 infantry, 2 anti-airs, but he lost 11 infantry, 2 artillery, 3 tanks, so very costly, and that's going to slow down obviously his push against Russia, uh, big time, which is nice, so yeah, West Russia is uh, safe for the time being, attack power, lost a bit obviously in that attack, but still looking okay for him to be honest, uh, right, so that's good for purchases, Attacking, can we actually do anything here? One, two, three, four, no. I think what we will do, we'll grab, let's grab this and this. We'll take Finland, let the Americans grab Norway, and we'll also take France as well, because we can. Let's do it. And the Americans can, are free to go wherever they want. They can go to Morocco, actually, no, we'll, we'll take Morocco. They're free to go north, which they will do at least with one transport, but maybe even reinforce. Uh, France here, or take off Western. Totally up to them. Could even attack a few things along here as well. Corellia, Baltic. Even, uh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's as far as you can reach. Okay. So we have got spare fleet at the moment because the, the planes are out of, um, out of position at least to hit the, hit the fleet. Uh, so actually the fleet in 8 can only be hit by these three planes of Berlin, which is good. So we've got space now to spread it out a little bit, so we're going to be killing these two subs. Uh, I'll be moving up here, so we'll need at least a cruiser, or probably two up north to defend against the bomber. And everything else can sit here comfortably in uh, in 8. I think we should be fine. Okay, for a tap that, I think that's probably, probably it. What's the map like? So UK troops... Yep, 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 that's fine. Cool. Non com, let's get this fighter involved. Move you forward. Uh, let's put one, two, which should be enough to deter a bomber. And what's going to be left here against three? It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, sorry, no, one, two, three, four, five. Click count, uh, count battleships as two. Okay, yeah, that's good. And we've got a fighter here going on in the car as well, so it's perfect. So let's put another carrier here then, why not? And we'll kill these subs with the one, two destroyers and then two more here up to the, the north as well, make sure they die. So we've still got, yeah, plenty of defenders here. One, two, three, four, five, that's three, perfect. Okay, um, yeah, that should be it. Please it saved, India was bombed, oh, thank God. <laughs> Thought for a terrible second that India was bombed that I forgot to repair it, but no, we're fine. So deploy here, one, uh, let's do here actually, two, Cool. Nice plus eight on the income, which is good. So now the fleet's in place, we can obviously start to squeeze Germany a bit. Obviously, we are late arriving as the Americans because it's round four and we're only just starting to uh, land this round. But the pressure he had with the fleet was too uh, too great to move out just just yet. But now we're here, we can really start turning the screws a bit. Whilst Russia is still safe, obviously, for now. 
this is good, I think, because if we do have to retreat, we've got plenty of UK fighters nearby to just ensure this indefinitely. This this won't ever fall. Um, I hope. <laughs> I say that. But yeah, it, it shouldn't ever fall because we've got so much air power here that we can just, you know, indefinitely hold this. I don't see this ever going down. It's just a case of whether we can hold both this and obviously the, the border with Russia. Um, sorry, the border with Germany. But I think we should be fine. Should be fine. Anyway, there we go. That's UK4. See you back for US4. Okay, we're back for US4 against uh, ASCII, and uh, we've had some good fortune. Uh, let's have a quick look at the turn for Japan. So, uh, complex purchased in Manchuria. Um, two infantry, two artilleries, two transports. Uh, combat round. Now, he went for India, which is the uh, the good news for me. So, we lost uh, nine in sorry, yeah, nine infantry, one artillery, one anti air gun, but he lost. How much did he lose? Uh, one fighter, ten infantry, four artillery, so a good trade for us. We, we gained IPC on that trade, which is nice. Um, he's also less, le left uh, some transports vulnerable, so we can knock those off pretty nicely. And, yeah, once we put three infantry in here, it's going to be, yeah, India's going to be locked down tight, so we may have some flexibility with our fighters, particularly if these, uh, or once these... Uh, infantry arrive we are going to have some flexibility and it also means with Russia we can probably push out a little bit I think I'm going to try and take Venki we'll take Vologda push out into Xinjiang and Sichuan which one is which? Xinjiang and Sichuan okay so we can hit all of those just to be as annoying as possible um, I'm just going to have to double check I think the odds of holding West Russia uh, we may be able to spare a fighter a, a, a US fighter yeah, let me just double check what, what, what I need to do to, to hold. Yeah, I could even spare two if I wanted to, to be fair. Which means we're going to be free to attack a few bits here and there. We can take Ukraine probably as Russia. Um, and then just sit tight in west really so I think it, it, he went for some prim I'm not sure of the odds on either one of these attacks I, I probably did calculate it at the time but I can't remember what the odds were for both these attacks and also his, his attack on West Russia as Germany was it the round before um, but it seems to be a little bit premature I don't know I think he's, he's going for a quick kill I suppose instead of waiting so I think he, he probably could have waited for another round or two here maybe I don't know I don't know but yeah he went for the uh, the quick the quick kill and it's backfired twice now which is nice for me so I've got yeah plenty of fighters left and a lot of flexibility so we should be able to kill these two uh, back to US now but to kill these two subs which is nice hopefully anyway uh, right we're gonna just work out my logistics now though because we were in a bit of a mess so we have yeah we are short numbers definitely short numbers well, it depends where we put things, I suppose. So three. Um, just wondering if we could even stack France on this turn. We'd have 11 units to put directly in. No, sorry, 12 units to put directly in. 13. With a fighter as well, and that's... It's tight. It is tight. Hmm. No, we can't. These fighters are going to be able to come back and hit us, so I'm not going to stack friends. I think we'll just do just play normally. We'll go for we'll go for Norway. Just take away the income wherever we can, um, and probably hit Northwestern as well. Kill some infantry there. And just move in generally. So what? One? I'll hit. I think I'll grab infantry and a tank to take Norway and then I'll drop on the non-com drop these other two sets of units off into Finland directly to get them a little bit closer. Although we do have to be cautious actually that there is a potential blitz. Wouldn't be a great move, but he could, like, he could even strafe us to be fair, so I'll have to go all, all, all to, to Norway. Six up to Norway as well. Alright, so we'll have one transport free. These are let's go, so for this transport. So we need to fill essentially six transports, so it's all infantry this round, to be fair. Um, and I'm going to be yeah, cheeking, squeezing a fighter, even though we don't have actually the numbers to fill all our transports. <laughs> That's fine, we'll just deal with it. 
That's not perfect logistics, obviously, but whatever. Um, now, I guess we... Go tank infantry here. And then let's grab... Let's do that. Bombardment. Two bombardments. Let's go check what if what's free as well. I mean Let's go check what, what we're defending within this, this season as well. We've got three planes to watch out for. This these four are out of position in terms of hitting this season, so I think one, two, three, four should be good. And I guess five technically if you count the battleship as two. That's good. Okay. So destroyers. One, two, three. We were going to do this actually. One, two, three, four. Oh no, it is four. It is four versus three. Again, Captain the Battleship is two. I just want to make sure these transports, sorry, these subs die because if I don't kill them, then I'm going to be leaving some. Uh, transport's free for the the hitting, so I don't want to do that. Let's make sure we kill this as well. Two transports for communicating. Shame these are not in range. So I think I'm going to probably fly one US fighter back up north. Just for a bit of extra security. Just one. I don't want to do two. Um... Keep the bomber there, probably. What's our defense profile, actually? So it's fine, so it's fine, okay. Yep. That's fine. Um, and yeah, actually, you might just, just move all these guys up as well. Don't want to risk a strafe. Yeah, so we do have a surplus of units right now. Sorry, surplus of transports. Okay, I think that's probably okay for now, then. What's four here? Ah, oh, can this actually go? This go? Yeah, it can go north. Cool. Okay. Good. Right. Three and three on one, which is nice. Kind of want to use it with this bomber, but there's not really a lot we can do. I'm just going to leave it there just to be a bit annoying. It means he has to be careful slightly of his transports. Okay, let's roll. Northwestern. I seem to have bad luck with bombardments. They don't seem to hit as often as I would like them to. So it's been a pattern. We play in this game. It's the, it's, that's the way it feels, at least. All right, sub dead, good. Nice, no return fire. Season nine. Okay, not quite as good. There we go. One hit back. That's fine though. Don't mind that. So let's put the anti-air gun with in Alaska just to be ultra annoying. So we have three, yeah, three transports, with only two worth of troops, but that's fine. Right, fight it back into India. And one up to West Russia. Keep the bomber there. Now we're risking it's two cruisers and anti yeah, sorry, two cruisers and a, a carrier against one bomber, that's totally fine. Cool. And ooh, transports. Well, one at least back to. Uh, yeah, sorry. So we're we're half capacity. I guess each <laughs> each transport could pick up one unit <laughs> to make them feel like they're doing something. I guess if we get desperate. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's good. I kind of would like a fighter here, to be honest. Just one more to make this ultra safe because we have got a lot of tr uh, transports here. But it, it doesn't matter. If he goes for it this round, he can try. But if he fails or doesn't go for it, then I'll be reinforcing with all these four ships. So there won't be another opportunity, probably, unless he moves these guys around. Okay, enough talk. Let's, let's skip forward. Ugh. Fighter. Okay. Um... Yeah, I guess we are in a sort of a holding position right now, so I'm gonna, I'm happy to do. We do have a fair amount of artillery as well, to be fair. So yeah, we'll go, go six and one. 
Uh, let's move you forward. And you. Try and keep the artillery slightly away from danger. It's more useful to me that way. Uh, now, what do we go for here? Here's the question. Let's recalculate. Make sure we can hold west while also going for uh, a blog during Ukraine. Yeah, the odds are not ideal, and he's already proven he's gonna. He's he was willing to attack, you know, without perfect odds. So I've got to be a little bit careful. I think what I'm gonna do instead of being too greedy with the Venki, I'm gonna just take him instead and use that to do that, then hit that with a fighter, and then we'll use all these to try and kill Ukraine. Then we have two spell. I'm not gonna bother stacking Archangel because I, I need the extra troops. So yeah, with all of this and sitting here now. Assuming this dies, that's just there's a point as well. <laughs> Assuming that dies, we should be fine. We've got like a, around 90% odds upwards, so should be fine. Uh, again, there's probably I think we need to think about in the long term switching the troops out as well. So swapping these tanks out for US, sorry UK fighters. So we're, we're not quite as yeah mixed up. It's better to have one or two nations defending a place just so they can move in unison, as opposed to three separate nations that are all a lot weaker. Just makes the uh, the movement that much more tricky. It's better have to yeah. I'd rather the Russians be in one place to be fair, but we'll we'll deal with that as we can. Okay, attack move that was good. Be nice to have a spare tank or something just to blitz through the north or something, but we can't afford that right now. Okay, let's try it. Ukraine's the key thing. I do hope we actually win that. Let's go for that first one. Let's make sure we win this one. Okay. Bad and bad. I will. I will commit to it. I want to kill as many German troops now as I can. It was tight. They rolled nicely on the defence. To be fair, some. I logged in. Okay. Try again. Oh, don't like that. Yeah, you could feel that hit coming. There we go. It's dead though. Yes, nice, 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 nice. Cool. Um, there's no point in the sub here now because there's no German uh, fleet to worry about. One, two, two, there we go. Yep, cool. Nice. So we're finally getting some German, sorry, some US presence, land presence in Europe now, which is good. So we'll start marching these guys through. So Russia needs to hold for two more rounds, pretty much. Well, two or three more rounds in West Russia, and then we'll have a US reinforcements coming straight into West Russia, so that'll be Germany's last chance at actually breaking through into Russia. Beyond that, it's, it's uh, won't be possible, I don't think. All right, not made any mistakes here, have I? Probably, but looks fine. Okay, let's go one here, just to kind of hit this back of any two, and then five in there. So, summary after Russia's round, 197 for Allies, 150 for Axis, which is looking fantastic. The, yeah, the blow was uh, largely on the Japanese there, 69. Level currently with the UK for attack power, which is good to see. Yeah, we've got some troops moving through as well. If I were Japan here, I'd probably just... Although, they, yeah, I'm causing some problems here, they've got to deal with this, and there's nothing that can hit this uh, artillery, <laughs> so that's really annoying. <laughs> They probably got to pull something back in to deal with that, and obviously that that 
helps out our defence of India because it's going to be less troops going towards that. Plus, they just lost some transports, and they've got yeah. It's going to take them a while to get these three back into action. It's going to take two rounds. So yeah, looking good against ASCII, I think. Yeah, it's uh, looking positive. Anyway, that's been quite a long round. So there was a lot to discuss in that one, <laughs> but we are finished now. So uh, yeah, we'll wait for ASCII's turn and we'll jump back on as UK. Okay, back for round five against ASCII. Just thinking where to hit in this one. Uh, so we can't go to the Baltic Sea, unfortunately, because there is too many planes about. Oh, well, saying that, we could go to the Baltic Sea, but it would mean we couldn't go north with the, uh, the Americans. God, logistics are bad in this one as well. It's got a real sub bomb, yeah. Too many transports that aren't ready to load up stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't think we can stack Finland just yet. Because you've still got some attacking pressure with tanks, infantry and fighters. So I think we just go to... F yeah, do we go to France as well? I need to defend season 7, maybe with a battleship. I think we just go north, to be honest. We could hit... Oh, I'm so indecisive. I think the Americans go north, the British uh, take France and Northwest and to keep them distracted over here. That's the best way. So I've built an extra transport as well, so we're going to be up to four, because there is no, uh, no fourth one coming from any other direction. We've, all, we've lost them all down there, so yeah, we're up to four now, max output. And what we'll try and do, I guess, is we'll go for seven units and occasion. yeah, generally speaking, eight or eight units, obviously, but then try and sneak in a fighter in Britain wherever we can, if possible. But if that's, that's going to be obviously uh, income allowing. So India is completely safe. Um, Infantry is fine. We've got more coming through as well, so there's no need to reinforce with anything. In fact, we could almost pull something out here if we wanted to, but for now, let's leave it as it is. Um, I do hope he keeps coming for uh, India, though. I really hope that it keeps coming because it's such a nice choke point. And the rush has got, look, <laughs> some really nice free reign here, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, I've not calculated West Russia, but uh, yeah, I, I don't think we'll have a problem holding it. It's, uh, yeah, we outmatch them pretty much everywhere. One, two, three, four. Oh, this fight I just can't reach. Eight. So we, yeah, we outnumber them on planes, which is good. We outnumber them on infantry and artillery. Just six. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I've got to. I've got to check. I've got to check. I have to check. <laughs> I can't not risk it. I can't. Sorry, I can't risk it. Not checking it. It's. It looks fine to me, but we've, we've got to make sure. Ah, actually not as far as I thought. It's actually, it's in danger. It's not going to, yeah, we actually don't have the odds. It's close, but we don't have the odds. Interesting. Okay, so I've got to recalculate how much we need there then. If I do some lighter attack, I was planning to hit Archangel and Ukraine. If I do some lighter attacks, then we can scrape odds. But again, I don't want to have to scrape by. That's not ideal. Not ideal at all.
Okay, after some, yeah, thinking, we can scrape by in India by pulling two fighters out. Well, it's not scraping. We still get two. It's like 8% plus of holding, so it's not terrible. I think just to kind of improve that a little bit, let's, let's drop a tank instead. Just to give this a bit more of a boost. I think the nice thing to know is obviously once we get these three infantry plus, that's going to be like a it's like a double deployment into India with these three infantry coming, infantry coming through. So that's that's a good thing definitely. Um, I would like more over here though. I think maybe do we just? I think we take out this transport to be honest. I think for the time being, I would rather just the Americans bear the brunt of the transports hitting things. I don't know. Three is enough to do what we need to do. I think I'd rather have a, a fighter coming in each round. So maybe cancel that. Cancel the load that was going on it. So it's two. Two and one for India. That's not bombed, is it? No, it's not. Good. So two and one for India. Which leaves five deployment. So we can afford an artillery and... Play. I think that's a better choice, so we can keep... I think we should maybe make a habit of that as well, just trying to... Similar with the Americans, trying to keep some fighters flowing in, because they are... They're going for... They're going heavy on West Russia and India, so I think we just need fighters to defend that, so... That'd be the, our counter to that move. And just try and hold both. While we obviously increase our power elsewhere. And let the Americans get involved. So, yeah, let's do, let's do that. I think that's a bit more sensible purchase. So, combat move. Um, we will go for... Uh, Attacks. Northwestern bombardment. Uh, that's a bit more risky. It's a bit even that one, but whatever. And hit France here as well. So if we we uh, we unite the fleet in season eight, the UK fleet, then we can use the Americans to defend uh, season three. make a note of not giving Finland away for free to these uh, German infantry. Okay, we can't do any kind of strafing options because we're short on troops. So. Alright, looks pretty good. No options elsewhere. So Northwest is not guaranteed by any means, but we'll give it a try. If we get lucky, it'd be nice. So just 50-50. Wow. Convincing. <laughs> France. Cool. Make sure I read those now before I forget. So two up there. Um, so we can afford to hit, we can use three units to attack Archangel in Ukraine, but no more. So I'm thinking what I want to prioritize, it's probably, hmm, yeah, I'm not sure. We'll think about that when we get to Russia. But we can use three units comfortably, whilst also maintaining odds, so. I mean, I hope he goes for it. Again, if he attacks with bad odds again, it, it could potentially kill the game off, because he's, he needs to be very careful now how he, how he proceeds. Um, and also, just notice as well, he's got no reinforcements coming through. There's one artillery piece. So actually, if we, if we hold this round, then we'll be able to hold, well, I think we'll be able to hold indefinitely because there's only going to be three more units coming through with this artillery and then these two from deployment into Corellia. So, yeah. So hold this round. Hold, hold fast, and then we might be okay long term. As with India, so we'll be reinforcing with a good number of Russian troops, each other, so then we can hopefully start again distributing fighters between the two as we need them. And I think, yeah, building fighters here is the right move as well, just to ensure we can keep uh, adding to our numbers. Anyway, that's that's probably it. They can stay there, that's fine. Anything else we need to do? Nope, that's good. Alright, fighter onto the... Da -da -da. 
Yeah, I think that was a better purchase. That was, that was more sensible. So 197 versus 152 is what you like to see. Uh, back over to Japan. Again, I'm, I'm kind of hoping he goes for one of these attacks because he, yeah, he's got a bit of an aggressive streak as ASCII. <laughs> it seems anyway from the, the play so far. So if he goes for it again, this could, yeah, e either one of these, it could potentially kill the game. So hopefully he does, but I think he'll, he, he, sh he should wait. He's got two transports now. He needs to set up again, just set, take some time, get some more units involved and yeah, wait for a second. Anyway, there we go. That's UK5 against ASCII. I'll see you back for um, US5. Okay, we're back for round five, US against ASCII. Um, oh my god, this this board, literally, it's like a... Uh, like a mastermind puzzle. I've been looking at it for about 20 minutes now, it must be, just weighing up different options about what the best thing to do here is. I'm trying to hold... Just simply trying to hold West Russia and India comfortably. Um, there's been so many things I've thought about. <laughs> so I'm, going, I'm going insane. I'm just hitting... Season 4 with the transports in 3 to try and kill these 4 to give better odds for West Russia. Hitting 5, going through the Baltic Sea and hitting Karelia. Defending with fleet here in 5, defending with fleet in the north. Sacrificing transports completely. Um, yeah, I'm just getting lost in my own, <laughs> in my own calculations. So I'm just taking a break for a second to come back to it. I think what I'm going to do... We need to try to take advantage of the turn order here. So I think we're thinking about both at the same time, but what we... Yeah, what I'm probably missing is the fact that we can move things around as we need them because we've got a lot of fighters spare. So currently, I just mentioned it all. Japan attacked uh, India as well. Didn't go too well for us. We uh, lost two tanks, bomber, two artillery, two infantry. So seven units for his four, which wasn't great at all, and some high value stuff as well for us. So we're not great. So we're a bit low in numbers. But what I'm thinking is, Japan's just gone. So we're free to move out with the US here. Provided we reinforce after Germany's turn with Britain because Britain could then once Germany's gone They can reinforce India and we can just move the fighters around for this particular round as we need them um, While we get things prepped obviously we, when more fighters arrive And more Russian troops arrive because he can only deploy as I said much mentioned before there's only gonna be one From here and then two more into Karelia That's more than he's got now and whereas Russia will be at least four more more units coming through Plus a fighter, so we just need to hold for this round comfortably. I think we can do that. So I'm going to stop overthinking it and just move some fighters up from India um, for Germany's go, and then on Britain's go, we'll move some down again to cover uh, India, and that should that should be okay. But yeah, let's do it anyway. So we're <laughs> it's mental. I'm still not exactly sure what to do with the transports because we've got a lot of options. So we're we've yeah we've got too many transports currently compared to troops. Um, so I was thinking about a sacrificial run against Baltic just to be annoying, but I don't think that accomplishes too much. Oh, we could do, yeah, actually I'm just thinking, oh god, this, this turn is an absolute, I've been here for so long, <laughs> on one turn. I'm thinking now actually because, sorry, excuse me, we are pulling out fighters. I was thinking I wasn't going to have this in the battle, but actually now we do have it. We could possibly move some kind of guys, do one sacrificial jump, which would again give us better odds. Kill this for the Russians, maybe. And that means Russia's got more to bring forward. I think we just stop thinking this too much and just wait. Let's get a... Let's just figure out what we've got left. So we're going to have four coming back to season 10. Only two are leaving, so that's six immediately. We have eight currently that are going to be sitting in season 10 at the end of this round. And we're going to have 11 units, so yeah, we're short 5. So that ships in those. That evens the numbers out for when they arrive. Okay, so from here then. Complex, there's two leaving, so we need to replenish these two. One, two, three, four, and that should do it, I think. Again, do we sacrifice the complex for a fighter? I think so. I think so. Maybe a few of these as well. Let's do that. Oh, God, this round. So, uh, combat-wise, there's not really yeah, much I want to do, I don't think.
No, just leave it, just leave it. It's one of those really weird rounds where it's not clear, because normally you can jump into the game and just see straight away what you need to do, how to do it. But this one, there's so many options. <laughs> and it, it's, yeah, it's, it's one of those really sort of, yeah, spaghetti type boards where I could do a lot and not a lot of it is good. <laughs> there's a lot of options, but yeah, it's tricky, tricky. But anyway, let's move this guy forward because we said we would. I also thought about barricading Finland, like just launching everything up there and just trying to actually stack Finland um, to try and draw the troops away from West Russia, but yeah, we don't need to. Let's just archive that and that's done. So, one, two, three, I think we calculated. Don't want to move everything out because we obviously still need to move fighters back. I want to make sure we've, we've got a surplus of fighters in India. That should guarantee that. We're going to be attacking Ukraine and uh, Archangel with Russia and probably some other things as well. So let's move everything back anyway for now. Uh, to Norway, not Finland. We need to make sure we cover the fleet from the bomber as well, so we'll probably move all that. There's what, three units there? One, two, three, four. Ah, the fighter as well, because we need to put it into... Uh... What, is, down, is down here good? One, two, three, four, no. Trying to figure out a spot. This spot is perfect because it gives us both India and West Russia to go to, but it's being guarded. Um, one, two, three. Well, just by, <laughs> just by a bomber. Maybe we we tempt him into taking that. We'll see if he does that. Let's go north and go one, two, three into West Russia. I just feel like I've made some really big miscalculation here. I've, I've, over, I've, over, uh, I've overthought it too much. It just feels like I've missed something now. But we're safe here now. We've got what ships, what ships are going up here. Two destroyers, one fighter, one carrier. And maybe ranged by one bomber. Only three can range this sea zone, so yeah, that's more than safe. Okay. Happy with that. Okay, Russia's go. Six and one looks good, so we will go for one, two, three, four. Hit these ones as well, and I go for um, a Venki and push to Quantum to try and be as annoying as possible. So that leaves us with 17. Yeah, that leaves us with 17 and 13 fighters. So that's more than enough to uh, hold this for now. And we're reinforcing, after Germany's gone, we'll be reinforcing something, probably West Russia. Yeah, West Russia with three more fighters, plus moving some down so we can we can hold. All right, that's good, that's good. So just fingers crossed for some good rolls, though. That'd be nice. Ukraine. This kind of needs to fall, actually, because we want to protect from a blitz against corpses. Okay, nice. Comfortable. I need a bloody beer after this round. Jesus. <laughs> God. I think I'm gonna take a break for the rest from this game for the rest of the night. Actually, tonight, so <laughs> I'm clearly too tired to be, uh, yeah, playing ranked games in platinum. Just it's the uh, need to chill. All right, thank you. This is the one I really want to take now. Actually, if we can get this, we we have some infantry free on the top side. Nice. Oh, perfect. Look at that. No casualties. That's what we like. The sub down. Kind of want to have something here. That's probably a misplay, but. Oh, thank Christ that runs over. Jesus. I don't think we've made a mistake. I don't think we have. I think we've covered everything. I think the idea of moving the fighters around 
as we need them is a better idea than what I was thinking of sacrificing transports. That makes more sense what I've done here. And we've protected everything. Yeah, that's better. It's about to ASCII anyway. This has been a hugely long round for me. But as we stand now, it's 206 for Allies, 161 for the Axis, which is good. The British economy is looking great as of now. Obviously, it will change shortly once Germany take back France, but still, it's looking good. And they've run out of reinforcements now, which is the key thing. The key point here is that they've run out of reinforcements for West Russia, so this is pretty much the best they're going to get up north now because we're pressuring France. So as we slowly gain power, we can start to shift down again towards India and then obviously shore this up as well because he, he is 100% committed to taking India. <laughs> this, is a, this is a completely uh, yeah, one-trap mine right now. It, it's India or nothing, apparently. So yeah, once we... Uh, once West Russia is shored up, which it will be hopefully this round, then we can obviously, again, shore up India. We need some anti-aircraft guns here. That's a big thing now. See, we, we had them too far down in our list. Actually, no, no, we didn't. We didn't. It was because he, he burned through our infantry. That's what happened. So we were down to... I always take anti-aircraft guns before tanks. So we were... Yeah, we burned through those before the tanks that died. But yeah, there we go. Anyway, I need to end this round and go get a, get a drink. Because I'm, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> Right, back to ASCII. I'll see you for uh, UK6. Okay, we're back for uh, UK6 against, who's this, ASCII. Okay, so I've calculated that we can hold India this round if we move six of the British fighters down this way. Um, so we'll be doing that, obviously. I can hold it with less, but the fact that he's committed to attacking each round means we're just getting our land units depleted each time. And soon we're going to start losing bombers, sorry, fighters. So I want to try and keep the high yeah a very strong number of fighters there so we can try and eliminate them quickly because we're, what's nice we're going to have some units going through here so we're going to have a six infantry buffer which is nice so we can take some hits while we're our fighters did damage behind but a lot of them will probably die if not all of them this round if he goes for another attack so we're we're really running short so i think we probably need to actually yeah i'm looking at that uh, Because the only ones that can reinforce really with land units is Russia, so we need to make sure they can head down. We've got an extra tank coming through though, so that'll be here uh, round seven. Anyway, yeah, we can, we can afford to go for infantry. I don't want to spend too much here. Um, and then we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, fighter, and then we can swap these out as we need them. Let's go through, yeah, let's do that. Nice. Okay. Combat move. Nothing much to speak of apart from the usual. One, two. One, two. Um, yeah, I guess. We, the problem here, we, we, we have to move to West Road, sorry, to Caucasus because he's, he's moved his stack across there. Uh, which is good for us in one way because north we can push across the Americans now. We can take Finland comfortably. Um, but it does mean we have to stack. Caucasus, and again, that's going to mean he's going to probably take west if he's got the infantry to do so. So we have to build a lot of artillery, I think, with uh, the Russians. Oh, I want, really want these tanks to come back, <laughs> which he can't afford to. Uh, be nice to hit something. Yeah, we can't though. Although. Mm, this is the this is the round to do it. If we're going to move into the Baltic Sea, this is the round to do it because we need to move with the UK first. Six planes versus what? I hate taking off bombardments. It's going to crash my game. Watch it crash now. Hmm. Okay for now. <laughs> okay, we have to cover the the US transports in three. So I think probably a destroyer and battleship to make that airtight. So what do we have to play with? We've got one, two. Again, that's optional. I think just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight versus six. That's good to me. I just want to one, two, three. Four. Oh, they can't reach anyway. Never mind. Oh, I'm not thinking straight. I was going to take Corellia with uh, with some air support, but maybe not. Maybe we just take France as normal then. We're actually safer. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm safer. I'm probably going to hit quite a lot of stuff with the Russians, as in Belarusia, Karelia, and then I'll move obviously all in here, deploy here, move everything to here, and hopefully move out as well somewhere there. But yeah, I might be able to kill Karelia. In fact, if we can kill Karelia and Belarusia, then there's no way the Germans can get back in then, and that will have Karelia permanently after that, which would be nice. Then the, uh, yeah, we maybe even just start, we could start landing, I suppose, up north with the British to try and do some trading. But yeah, for now, so what we could do, we could do a split here. We could try and take France with minimal troops and drop some guys off in Finland. I think I like that, actually. Let's do that. Uh, one, two, no. This fighter, where can we go with the fighter? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This seems to be... Oh, yeah, he didn't go for the fighter in Libya, so that would suggest he wouldn't. He would never go for it. So we can land a British fight there as well, because it gives... I, I do like this spot in terms of reaching Caucasus and India. We get the option. North, we don't. So we'll land our British fight here. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay, so one, two, three... We can use them in the fight as well. Nice. So hopefully they only score... They only get one hit on me back, so I want to drop four guys off up north. Okay, attack wise though, that should be it, I think. A little bit of a risky attack here. So obviously we're not securing it if he gets two hits back. That's been a theme, especially when we've got a custom game going with some guys from Discord and it's been brutal, the, the, the hits we've been receiving from infantry. Okay, that sucks. No return fire though. Oh god, don't do this to me, just <laughs> all the stuff we had in that fight. He's going to hit, isn't he? Nice, Christ. There we go. Right, so let's pull the remainder up north. Oh God, change my camera. For sake. Right, land there. There we go. Right. So we needed six, and one lands in Cox's. Move you forward. Move you forward. Uh, is that safe actually? No, it's not. Is it? Well, to be fair, none of them are safe. We might as well move it there, gives us more options. Because if, it, if they're going to land there, they're going to land there. I can't really stop that. Um, anything else we can do over here? Nope. Safe in the north. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Some reinforcements finally. Nice. Okay. Forty, so we are two two oh six, which is one six two. Just hope we get really favourable rolls in India. I mean I suppose what we could have done there actually we probably could have pulled more out than that. We could have pulled this extra fight down as well to give us nine. Yeah, we do have ninety percent to hold. It's more worried about our land troops, really. What can he bring in next round? Actually, he can bring in these. I'm, I'm accounting for these in our calculations this time, so he can bring in one more. So that I can't reach next time. Ooh, is he actually all out of reinforcements here? These guys will bring in this one. So I hope, actually, if he goes for the attack this round, then there won't be an attack next round because he needs to get a thing in position again. Because he's not got, any, he's only got one transport that can move stuff relatively close. And this then yeah, so it, it's just a wait. Okay, so should be okay for next round then. But we'll see how we go. Anyway, that's uh, UK six. See you back for US six. Okay, welcome back for uh, US sixth turn against ASCII. So before I check India, because uh, <laughs> they have attacked again, I'm just going to quickly work out the uh, the US logistical purchase here. Let's see if we can get it all right. Uh, I want to try and drop a complex in Norway this round as well, so we'll do that first. So we have 20 units in the United States, pretty much, uh, for all 10 transports. 
but we can't ship them out immediately. I can take five here, five full transports, which means we need ten for... Oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> there we go. Matches up. Now, we're not going to be buying... Although, actually, to be fair, that makes that throws off our fighter purchase, you know, uh, plan at the moment. Oh, it costs four infantry, though, to cancel that. Oh, it's painful. Okay, given the situation in both... Yeah, he went for India again and failed. And I'm also going to try and take uh, Burma with the UK this round as well. It's a bit, a bit risky, but we're going to be getting so yeah, such a good reward for it. So anyway, yeah, I think we, we can probably afford to leave the, the fighters for now. We have a lot knocking around now. We've got six, I believe, seven US fighters, uh, eight, nine, ten UK fighters. So, yeah, I think we can avoid it. We'll just go for go for logistics now. We'll get some bodies on the ground in Europe. And that, that number works out perfectly as well, so it's hard to uh, not do that. <laughs> Feels good. Anyway, so we can take Finland this time. Well, stack Finland at least. Um, we've got a bit of freedom with our fighters as well. This um, obviously we're going to have to stack Caucasus, uh, but we should be very much safe there. There's not really much threat to it at all. Uh, so combat-wise, not a lot we can. Berlin is half tempting, but no, not really. Not really. All right, so combat. Yeah, it's not really much we can do. Can't really range too much. <laughs> I like how this infantry's still alive as well. I need to check if we attack this dude. But actually, let's have a look now. Actually, um, so it's one five three versus one eight two before US is turn, which is nice. Uh, so Japan purchased three tanks, two artillery, one fighter. Interesting. Uh, combat. Sichuan, he didn't even go for the. Oh no, he did. He did. Kwantung and oh, I could... <laughs> legend, absolute legend of an infantry. Took out a tank. What a beast. <laughs> so now we've got the option. I think we're probably gonna. We could. I think we'll just stay there. Just stay there. We'll see how long we can hold it. Because moving out means he can blitz through Kwantung and then hit me there. So I might as well defend a, a more valuable territory. Yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll leave him in Quantum. That guy's a legend. So, India, anyway, um, attacked again, as we thought he would do, because he's desperate to take it. Uh, and what do we lose? We lose. We lost one fighter, five tanks. The tanks are dead, unfortunately, so no more Russian tanks on the board. Um, six infantry, but he lost uh, three infantry, five artillery, one tank, and two fighters. So, I think we just came out on top there. Maybe, actually, that's pretty tight, to be fair, actually. Okay, where was I? We just just had the the, the landlord knocking on my door asking for some water. <laughs> That's right. First time I met him as well. That was a bit bizarre. Okay, right. <laughs> Let's carry on. Uh, I completely lost what I was talking about or uh, or thinking about. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, attack. Let's just go back to the game. Attack move. Uh, I don't think there's much we can do. Um, is that in range? No. Yeah, I think we're pretty much stuck as we are. Um, okay. Just roll out. So, non-com. Get all you guys moved in. Caucuses. I think actually I'll probably put another fighter in India as well. So I'm basically planning to hit Burma with one tank blitzing through India and then hitting it with the seven, seven planes because it's risky against obviously the anti-air but we can kill three bombers and that's going to kill all his attacking potential. Um, so from then on out, he's only, from here on out, sorry, he's only going to have two planes to use in the attack, maybe three. But those, losing those bombers is going to be so painful for him and it's worth losing maybe a couple of fighters for. Just to kind of secure India properly, so yeah, we'll do that. Uh, so yeah, I, actually, yeah, as I said, I can probably get rid of. How do we need another one? Uh, 
Um, no, let's leave it there. I think we're, we're trying to try and defend India with only UK troops, I guess, from now on. So we've got this spare fighter here, should we need it, and this one over here, so yeah, let's do that. Bring one more, though. Alright, let's carry on our shipping. Okay, so that's five up there. Yep. Ships are there, are fine. Okay, that's good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Easy, easy. Okay, so yeah, five, yeah, perfect, perfect. Complex in Norway, and ten deployed. There we go. Beautiful. Right, so, what can we do here? Mm. More tempting. We do have a bit of a lack of, yeah, we do have a lack of artillery. Let's do, for that. Let's do that. Heavier purchase on the artillery this round. Be annoying with these guys as well. We're camping Guantung. Uh, I'm going to try and trade. I'm not going to go for Karelia because we don't need to. So I'll do two infantry into Belarusia. Bring most of this stuff back. We'll be deploying directly into Caucasus as well. He can't do an Archangel stack, which is nice. If he moves forward with these four, then we should just be able to crush it with this. This, they'll be safe. Two infantry and then some fire support. So, yeah, cool. That's good to me. Beautiful. So let's shuffle around. I'm going to leave. Yeah, leave this one here. Uh, I kind of actually want some infantry on the line to. Okay, move you here. The only vulnerable spot I can see is this one, if he goes for um, your cut as well. We sort of lose our attacking ability here. I'd like... Maybe we do... Oops. Uh, cancel one to Caucasus, move one up to uh, Novo, just to give us a bit of an attacking option on this one. I think we're pretty much good in... Yeah, we've got 16 units, 18 units, plus... Seven fighters and deploying four more in there as well. That's good to me. So let's go. In fact, we could go heavy on artillery here. Max it out. Okay, 202 plays 152. Nice. Looking good. Safe from the German stack, and we have got some nice counter attack ability here with a lot of artillery. That's 16 units attacking on a two plus extras and fighters. But actually, no, there's more than that. There's 18 units attacking on a two. Yes, I don't think he oh, he may choose to stack West Russia, he may go for it actually. If he's got these guys here as well, I have to work out the odds, but it, it, it's risky. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what he does. Anyway, there we go. That's round uh, seven for Russia. We'll see you back for uh, UK seven. Okay, we're back for uh, round seven, UK against ASCII. So let's have a quick look at what he did first. Uh, nine infantry, two artillery is good purchase. Oh, okay. I expected to see more combat in this <laughs> this bit. And then draw. What did he attack with? Wait, why? Why? Why, why would he attack with only that when he's got six planes in Berlin doing nothing? Why? I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> That's very bizarre. He also didn't attack Belarusia, which again is odd. Uh, yeah, not entirely convinced by that. Very strange.
but I mean, good for me, obviously, so I'm not going to complain too much, but anyway, so 42 IPC to spend, lovely. So we're going to go, again, pure infantry here, we are going to hit Burma, because I want to kill these bombers off, which should completely, at least for the next few rounds, wipe out the threat on India, um, until he gets his tank mobilised down here, but... Yeah, we are pressuring. This is annoying for him because he's got an infantry here to deal with. We're blocking him on every single zone around here. We've got an infantry or artillery up here moving through, so he's got to pick what he wants to do. And he's he's so committed to India and not been able to take it that this is gonna yeah. It's gone pretty badly for him. Uh, fifteen units, twenty one, twenty yeah, twenty seven ish. And I've got yeah, more than enough to defend there. I'm only just thinking about what to do with this. I could bring this fighter in as well. I think I will do. Try my kids clean. I don't want to lose many fighters here, obviously. So if we can bring them all in, plus this tank, that'd be ideal. The thing is, is what's nice as well. If I kill this, these two land units here, he can't then attack India with any land units at all, because there's nothing in range, so it immediately just kills off his attack, and it means we can build up some infantry again, because <laughs> we obviously need we need land units here, desperately, to, to protect these planes from attack, so, yeah. Okay, so on that front, that looks good. Um, here we've got three transports. Again, I'll probably want to keep up the fighter production for now, just because it seems to be working so far. Uh... I'll attack Corellia. So let's just do the basic build. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And let's get three artillery as well. Perfect. Cool. So we are obviously risking some fighters in the anti air. Well, in the anti air role, plus also against the infantry, but I think that's more than worth it for killing three bombers and eliminating his entire, like, you know, threat against India for now. Let's go. Um, oh, actually, I'm just thinking. One, two, three, four. Go on then. Let's do it. I was going to use that fighter for Corellia, but actually, this one works. We can just land it in uh, Archangel for now. Um, we'll do one, two, here. And then we'll do a non comment to France, so he has to fight for it again, and also um, probably go up north as well. Okay. So I'm hoping to kill this in one shot. <clears throat> so obviously we're going to take minimal fire. One tank, <coughs> excuse me, one tank is a buffer for this, you know, the hits here, so. Yeah, anyway, let's do it. That's good to me. So, Burma, come on. No rolls in the anti air, please. That'll be great. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. Two is very unlucky. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry, what's the problem here? <sighs> this game can be so buggy sometimes, it's so frustrating. <laughs> it really is frustrating. Right, anyway. Okay, not too bad for any one infantry lost. So, minus 48 IPC worth of troops. Three bombers down, which is great for us. It was well worth... Bit of a shame we lost two on the anti-air roll, but it, it could have been worse. But, yeah, I'm very happy with that, to be fair. So, six remaining, which is good. All threats uh, eliminated. 
Um, let's clear these because they're irrelevant now. Uh, fighter. Yeah, we can just move it back to. We'll move it back to uh, Caucasus because that's the only thing actually being attacked this round, so why not? Um, let's grab one, two, Finland, and one, two, France. Beautiful. Okay, that's good. Oh, it's nice we can get some breathing room in India, finally. So how's it looking now? 205, 144. The gap's widening massively now. And, yeah, Japan just lost a lot of its air force, <laughs> which is good. Only three planes remaining, and we've obviously got uh, still got a ton. So I think it's probably fair to say India's not going to be falling probably any time soon, but probably permanently. I don't see him ever taking it now. We've got too many fighters on the board, and Germany's not strong enough to really cause us too much problems. The only danger here is in moving forward to... Uh, you West Russia, but he won't do that. He won't do that. Actually, no, he can't even do that now because we're going to be moving in the Americans into Karelia this round. So, yeah. Again, taking Belarusia would have possibly given him an option to attack this back, but yeah, just a very, very weird go for Russia. That sorry for Russia for Germany. I don't. Uh, there's a lot of things he could have done that he didn't. And it's meaning, yeah, it's, it's put him in a really awkward spot now. So. I think, to be honest, without speaking too soon, hopefully, <laughs> but it seems at the moment the game is completely won. I don't, I don't see a way back for the Axis now, after what's happened. Um, we're completely deadlocked here. If, if he's not going to go for West Russia, I thought he may stack West Russia, but he had the opportunity to do that and didn't take it, and now, obviously, Russia's going to be stronger for that. We'll make sure we've got like a ton of infantry. We could even try and match up our infantry completely with artillery and just <laughs> try and find back alone with Russia. While well, obviously the US comes in as well. But yeah, it's 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 only a matter of time now, I think. I think we're we're on the home straight. So just gotta keep playing playing solid and yeah, wear him down. Nice bit of a comedy. Forty two for UK. Fantastic. But he he needs to use his planes. That was such a big mistake. You have to use your planes. Otherwise they're just they're just Gathering dust in Berlin. You've got to you've got to use them for trading. Yeah, weird choice. Anyway, pass it back to ASCII for Japan. We'll uh, jump back on as the US. US seven. Right. So, what's interesting here? Um, we'll just quickly go over Japan's turn. Uh, so three tanks, two infantry, two artilleries. Um, he's placed everything though immediately in Burma, which is not good <laughs> for for him anyway. Because I'm going to be able to at least strafe this, but more likely just take it and kill it. Um, oh, that's an old message, but it applies here? Or is it a new message? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> but it, is, it still applies, yeah. So we're going to try and kill that. I think we'll, we'll go for the attack. Obviously, we, we are slightly risking a plane, but again, killing all the uh, attacking units is fair enough. Well, they do have, to be fair, two tanks coming in as well, but we're going to be deploying three infantry again, so I'm not, not too worried. Yeah, so we'll go for the attack there. Um, right. US, though. Still no threats to Hawaii or anything like that. So uh, This is great. Australia and New Zealand are still completely under our control. No threats. They've still not got any kind of real foothold in Asia either. So I'm going to probably leave the artillery here. Kill that. Move forward with this guy. Um, just to keep the pressure on here. But tanks, I don't think, is the right build. It's expensive. Very expensive. What's he got? He is making 40, but still. So, yeah. I'll just probably go and try and get pure infantry first and just make a nice front line for himself. But anyway, that's uh, that's his decision. So, um, 10, perfect. So, 10 units for these transports. And then we've got, oh, logistics not quite, well, it, it works fine, but we can't get two tanks in there. Nor which is a shame. Oh, well. I'll have to get that instead. Yeah, we've kind of halted fire production, I think, for now. We'll keep, maybe keep that with the British, but... Yeah, for the US, I think we're just going to maintain our numbers. Just keep the, uh, the infantry coming through. Um, attacks, not a lot we can do. Berlin's not open. Uh, Baltic, we'll take that with the British. Oh, actually, no, we can't, because it's not let go. That's fine. Yeah, that's alright. Uh, anything else we can do? I kind of want to pull few more guys off 
I'm going to pull this fighter off probably, this British fighter to, to uh, India. Again, just to completely secure it. One, two, three. Yeah, this can reach as well, which is good. Yeah, no attacking moves for the US, I don't think. No bombers on the board. So we get Corellia now. Permanently. Uh, one, two, three. Ooh. It's scary leaving one bomber against. It, it, surely he won't attack that. Yeah, it would make no sense to attack that, but. You never know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's completely safe. Might add a third destroyer to the Northern Sea, actually. We've got essentially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at all times. Plus a fighter, it means eight. Yeah, that's good. in that sea as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this fight here just for now because we don't need it. We don't need it in Caucasus at all. Okay. Tank artillery. There we go. Did I not move these? Oh, you idiot. You idiot. Oh. Right, I need to make... I've, I've done that before as well. Right, I need to make this a note now. Uh, just moving around. I'm going a little bit too fast and skipping things. I need to just slow down and uh, yeah, just make sure I move things. That's that's sloppy. So we're gonna be uh, yeah, around behind logistics. It wouldn't matter too much, but still, it's it's sloppy. Okay. Right. So Russia. Uh, yeah, six and two. That's good. Let's do that. So I'm gonna swap. We'll hit this. Definitely hit this as well. Uh, anything else we can hit? 15, 21 units here versus. Hmm. Let's just quickly check the other. I don't think we can take this. I'm pretty sure we can't take this, but it's worth checking. Damn. Damn. We have 75% chance of taking this. <laughs> no, I, I hate those kind of odds, though, because it's, it's in no way guaranteed. Plus, he's got an anti air gun, so what does that change it to? Uh, we can lose a fight on the attack and still be above 50%, but, oh, it's so risky. It's so risky. And it means throwing this guy in as well. Oof. <laughs> this is quite a big decision, because if it goes really badly, which it has potential to, we'd be falling back to, yeah, corpses with low numbers. Um, damn, this is risky. I don't need to do it, obviously. I don't need to attack. I've got more than adequate defense in corpses. I don't need to take this at all. But this could potentially kill the game <laughs> immediately. <laughs> oh, if I was playing sensible, I'd probably not do this. But you know what? Let's do it. Because why the hell not? <laughs> Let's do it. I mean, we can always we can always pull back after a round. If it goes really badly, we can all pull back after a round. But this is not a good attack. I do not recommend doing this because there, there is no need to do this. There's no we're, we've got the if you know the, a massive advantage right now, so there is no real need to do this. But just for fun, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so do not uh, take this as a lesson by any means. This is not a good idea. Right. Plus, we're risking Russian fighters for no reason. So that's stupid. But who cares? It's only a game. Kazakh. So we'll take three there, and we've got one spare here, obviously, to block the Blitz. Should this go terribly wrong, we can still block West Russia and uh, yeah, prevent a, a take on Moscow. So, let's do it. I think that's what we can do here. Right. All right, so fingers crossed, anyway, we'll do we'll do this one first, I want to see what happens. 
So hopefully no fighters go down the initial attack. Thank Christ. So let's see how we do. Terrible. Terrible. Better. Eight anti airs there, which is nice. So eight hits. We'll want to avoid four. Six. Good. So that's a good start, pretty much. So I'm going to press it now. Seven, eight. Pretty good still. All infantry are dead. Two, six. Not bad. I'll take it. So we're going to keep pressing now. If we can kill tanks, why not? Four. Oh, beautiful. And three back. Oof. Double. Literally double. Got a lot of value out of that. We are probably sac... Oh, I don't know, actually. We might not be sacrificing those guys. Because that's a nasty attack to go for as well. With lots of... He probably will go for it. I'd, I would expect him to go for it. But we should be able to counter it pretty pretty effectively. Okay, hopefully we get Kazakh as well, nice and cleanly. I think we're just lucky there not to take a Russian fighter loss on the anti-air. That would have been really annoying. Okay. Please hit. Thank you. Yeah, that's just killed all the German tanks on the board. Fantastic. So let's put you back here, move you up, move you up as well. So obviously we'll deploy all our artillery here. I think we need two, but we'll deploy everything we can here and just for a counter attack, should he want to take this. Um, let's also swap out this one for this. Gives us a few options. Don't have a lot actually up here. I'm gonna put one more here, I think. Just so we've got two units here that can potentially take back uh, a Venki, should he go for it with the tanks. And fight support still in range. Okay, that looks good to me. Not miss anything. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So, big losses, big losses for Germany there. That was huge. I think that has pretty much killed the game now. This is obviously Germany is way too crippled now to put up a, a decent fight. Um, we've got a lot of UK. We would have had more coming in, <laughs> but from the logistics mistake there. But still, we've got a lot of uh, US troops nearby now, so we can just we can comfortably sit in Baltic this round. I think I'd imagine and just keep trading and cripple them. And Japan again, as yeah, they're still not managed to take uh, take India, so they they are completely. Uh, Distracted down here, so Russia's got pretty much free reign, which is great. So, yeah, I think it's uh, more or less in the bag now. If it was before, it is now. That's just that was pretty huge. Even the counter attack's not a problem because if he goes here, we'll just kill him with British or Russian troops or um, American troops. If he counter attacks here, which I think he should, he do that. I'm not sure. I guess it's giving him another target because he wants to take France back, obviously, and Northwestern, but that as well. He might just abandon this now and go 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 for France and Northwestern, which means we've got obviously we're trading these two immediately with Russia. So looking good, looking good. Anyway, there we go. Back to ASCII for Germany, and we'll see you back for um, UK eight. Okay, uh, round eight UK against uh, ASCII. So so we'll look at the main uh, German move, which is the key thing here. So five entry. Oh, nice down to eight for this particular round, which is nice. Combat took better Russia. Uh, tried to take France but failed, which is nice. Um, but went for the UK, UK, uh, the Russian stack in Ukraine, which makes sense. Uh, we thought he might do that. Uh, lost three infantry, one artillery. We lost a lot, to be fair. No, sorry, no, no sorry, wrong one. Only lost two infantry, and he, he killed a lot of stuff there. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame. But it's all right because we've, we've still got the momentum here, so we can still counter attack and stuff. Not too much of a problem. All right, so purchases one, two, three. Uh, I will try and kill this as we thought. This fight has been free to move down as well now, so we can attack with that as well. Um, um, we could probably go... I don't think we need any more fighters now. So I think what we, what we could do is switch out to a transport. And we could start thinking about just uh, going for four. Yeah, eight units. Let's do that. So I have a bit of spare income next time. All right, uh, now, oh, we can actually take Italy this round as well, which is nice. Hang on, can we, can we, no. Uh, 
there was a US tank sitting right here. <laughs> that would be the game. Wow. <laughs> Shame. Is it? Is it? Can we actually go for that? He'd spot it. To get like a really sweet VC, like a, a VC snipe for a win, the US is a great nation because there's no counter attack. If the US can get ten cities, then like that's game over. There's no, there is no option to uh, fight back. So, oh, our tank would be straight sweet in the uh, Sinkio. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, combat move. So, let's trade with the uh, UK here. Oh, these are in. Oh, that's so annoying. They're in. Uh, in Finland. Can't really trade now, actually. Oh, no, we can, we can. We can still do it with this one, that's fine. Hit that. So I go one. I'd rather take this one comfortably. There we go, try that. Uh, let's go for Burma. Be as annoying as we can be. Could also try and hit the fighter here, to be fair, but I think clearing out the land units is more valuable to me. Uh, attacking here. Could potentially go hard in the Baltics. If we can reinforce. He's, no, he's still got a bomber there, though. Well, that's fine. Can this fighter actually reach uh, the. No. So in fact, let's cancel this one to the Baltic States, then let's go for all three to Belarusia. And what we'll do, we'll just land all the boys. I'm thinking actually we can pull the fleet down here for one round because we've messed up our logistics. <laughs> so we're not going to be having any transports in three for the US this round anyway. So um, They're free to move down for a round. Please just do this. So we'll go in all in the Baltic states and then reinforce with the, uh, all the American troops too. Could actually. Uh... Oops. Oh, God. Oh, the flipping things in this are so annoying. Alright, take him, take him, drop him off. You. There, do that. Cool, okay, good, good, good. Okay, that's better, that's better. Let's go with that. Falls no problem, Belarusia. Nice. Burma, okay, I want this cleanly as well. I want to take Burma. How do you strafe that with seven planes? Jesus Christ. Unbelievable. I mean, we did more damage to him, I guess. Is it worth just sitting back now? Or do we just kill it? Oops. What's the value in just... No, we take it, right? One, two, three. Oh, screw it. We're just gonna take it. Why not? <laughs> just take it. I don't see the value either way. To be honest, it's smart to just kill it. Yeah. Can't believe we didn't get a, a complete kill in the first round. That's mental. Yeah. I don't have good luck with attacking fighters. All right. Drop you back. Um. Set you up there. 
Might as well see it on the fleet to be safe. There we go. Move you forward if we can. Can that plane actually go to... Yeah, I think I'll probably have both on the fleet just to make sure we're not going to risk anything here. Keep it nice and nice and tight. Um, we good? As he's actually online, he's been he has been moving quickly as well. So I've got an hour before work. I'm hoping to yeah get through this game fairly quickly. So it's three infantry over there. And that's the reason why I left one. Um, one artillery. I took one from northwest and not the UK, so we had eight, a full, you know, four transports for next round. So we, we can put this one on next time. All right, so we're back up to well, we are up to four now. What's the note here? Oh yeah, okay. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's more than safe now. Alright, we all good? We're all good. Oof! 50. Nice. Wow. Looking good. <laughs> the UK are really dominating in Europe now, it's nice. Taking away a lot of areas. So, the Russians will be free to take Ukraine back uh, comfortably. Um, and then, yeah, I think uh, the Germans are really going to start thinking about what do they want to prioritize. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, good point, good point. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, GG Aski, well played, mate. That's good. That's a good game. Oh, yeah, a few good trades for us there. I think we we played decently overall I think it, what was it was fun this game because he was very clearly going all out on India it was, this is the game about India really because he was going absolutely all out on India the entire game and just couldn't take it <laughs> he tried literally everything and he just couldn't could not take it so we held firm there which was nice and eventually yeah that kind of pressure can only be maintained for so long before the allies just yeah just start holding comfortably once India was like safe and then yeah, West Russia again, we could start moving fighters around. I think our fighter logistics... Sorry, excuse me. I think our fighter logistics in this one are quite good. Like, moving them around based on where the where we were on the uh, the turn. The uh, the turns and that kind of stuff. And, yeah, I think that was good. But yeah, we, we held off well enough to allow ourselves some time to get in, but... Yeah, f fun game though, different game. I think it's uh, yeah, interesting one to play, but we played pretty solid. So happy with that. But yeah, we'll play to uh, ASCII, GG, that was good.